Hi everyone, Gustav here. Today I would like to show you eight specific settings related with the card visualization. What is important is that card now is uh, generally available visualization, so we can use it a little bit more right, freely. However, there are so many different options in this particular visualization that it might be like uh, not straightforward what to click to to get the specific results, to get the specific outcome uh, from the visualization standpoint. That's why I want to uh, walk you through of these eight adjustments that might be relevant in your uh, development. So first one, uh, let's go to the callout and the value section. So let's pick this one, for example, and we can go to the uh, callout. In a callout section, the default mode is like here, where is the section which is called apply settings to it's mm, called the cards. Normally there is a drop down list and it's called all. And now if we go to the value, we can see that there is no uh, access to either the format string or the values, which can be a little bit like confusing. So in that case, we have to remember that in this drop down list, we can actually pick the one measure, which is actually like one or multiple measures, depending on how you structure your KPI card. If you pick the, in that case, it's like the revenue actuals. Now, if you go to the value uh, section, once again, you can see that now you have the control over the display units and the value decimal. So in that case, you can, of course, fix it on a millions or the thousands or make it auto or default, whatever it's the most important for you. So let's keep it as a millions, just an example. We can also change the value decimal places here and you can see that now it's adjusted. Of course, we can just bring this value decimal places to zero. We can uh, pick the thousands or none or auto, etc. So the one important, important thing to keep in mind is that in order to have then access to both the decimals and the format string, we just have to pick the specific item using the drop down list. Then we have the vertical horizontal alignment. So what I meant by that? Uh, in that case, if we go to cards and if we go to layout, you can see that there is an arrangement. It can be vertical as it is here or here. When there is like, for example, title, subtitle, the call out, then we have the reference labels. So this is one example of the arrangement. But the other hand, we can also uh, can pick the from the vertical, we can change to the horizontal and it can look exactly as it is here. So it's like the horizontal perspective when for, for example, on the left, you might have the call out values and on the right, you might have the corresponding reference lines. So for example, if we are using this KPI cards and if we change from vertical to horizontal, then of course we have to adjust the size but the general result is that now we have the reference labels on the right side then of course we have to adjust the padding uh, between the reference labels and the divider and the call out should be like centered in that case exactly as we have here we can also add the label for the call out values which is in that case stated like an actuals nevertheless keep in mind that we have this vertical and horizontal alignment so one layout or the other layout can be more beneficial depending on your use case. Third case, cards and padding. So let's go once again to card section and we have such a section like padding. So in that case, please keep in mind that if we would like to have like the vertical alignment between the title, subtitle, callout value and reference lines, and let's assume they are all like left aligned, we can keep this padding on the left side and on the right side, like one, like zero pixels in that case. So for instance, if I would change it to like 10 pixels, just an example, then you can see that it's moved a little bit to the right side. And in that case, there is no vertical alignment between the title and subtitle and this main uh, card section. So in that case, if I turn it back to zero pixels and we have also zero pixels on the right side, now you can see that there is a, vertical alignment, which from my personal perspective creates a good look of the KPI cards, at least for this particular structure. Fourth hint is regard is related to the refer reference labels and how we can actually change the measure. So let's say we have the sample car as here. There is only a one reference label. In that case, is the value for the previous year, previous APY. There is a value and there is a reference label. So let's assume that we go to the reference labels. And uh, for the reference labels, we have the revenues PY. You can see that here at label revenue PY. One thing that I would like to mention here is that instead, of course, sometimes we 
of course can erase by using this icon erase this uh, measure and just uh, drag from our uh, data here the one measure which should be um, that should be used here nevertheless the secondary option we actually have to change this measure is that we can use this arrow so now if we are using this arrow we can if, if it's if it's like requested from your side it might be beneficial from the standpoint of like the general um, ux of the of this interface you can replace for example the revenue py with the any other measures of course you can as mentioned you can just erase everything whatever you have here and just swap this measure like from the beginning however you have this option to use this arrow to unlock this additional screen and you can, for example, refer to a different measure. Let's say it might be the revenue tar revenue target. And in that case, the value for uh, this particular section was changed. Then you would have to go to the reference section uh, for the detail section in the reference labels and swap this measure as well. But let's say you just use the PY calculation. Maybe you would like to swap to a different PY calculations. So you can do this using this cursor. So let's switch back for, to the revenue PY and then uh, we should see the change in this volume. So let's pick the revenue PY and now is the revenue PY. Fifth thing is the reference labels gap. So as, as an example, here you have two reference labels, the first row with the PY and the reference, uh, the second reference with the target. So now if we go here uh, to the reference labels layout, you can see the section which is called gap. In that case, the vertical gap means how what is the distance between these two reference labels. So now it's, for example, six pixels. But if we go to the 10 pixels, there you can see that the distance between two rows, two reference labels increased. So this is another thing that is worth to keep in mind. Alignment, left or right or the middle. Actually, I even referred more to the middle placement, central placement, not the right one. So one example is, as you can see here, when you have this card, which every element is aligned to the left side, as you can see here, revenue, uh, title, subtitle, callout, and reference labels. But you can also create a KPI card that it's that looks more like here when everything is al aligned to the center. So both can work fine. Just wanted to mention that we have this option to actually bring an of this layout. So let's quickly go to the general effects. I will bring the background to make a little bit better visibility. So starting with the title, we can, of course, uh, make this title and subtitle centered. So we can do this from the general. And then we can go to, uh, to the callout value. We can pick the, uh, in that case, all. Let's go to the layout. Then we have this vertical alignment. So in that case, it can be just in case of the red vertical, it can be uh, in the middle as here. But if we go to the value, there is also a horizontal alignment. So it can be left, right or the middle. So let's keep it in the middle. And then we have also the reference labels. And here we also have the layout and we can change from the left side to the center. So in that case, from the left center, left aligned KPI cards, we move to having the centered, like middle centered uh, KPI card. So it was related with the alignment. Uh, seventh uh, hint that I wanted to share with you is that if you have this KPI card and you have a lot of different options um, enabled, for example, like here, and it start a little bit like too extended in terms of this pane, you can always right click on this on any like place you are in a visualization pane and you can actually collapse all subcategories or collapse all categories so let's click collapse all categories and now everything collapsed so you can start uh, searching by the one specific setting you would like to adjust so in other words if you have a lot of different sections or subsections opened and you would like to bring everything to the top level you can just right click and collapse all either subcategories or all categories which brings a little bit like more initial view where you can start applying given uh, settings of course you can also use the search box and if you'd like to only focus on a one specific like section subject subject subsection or like the formatting options you can also insert some kind of the text uh, some kind of the text which actually refers to the name of the settings of this particular adjustment uh, property and you can uh, change it here as well. 
And the last thing that I wanted to share, however, I would like to share to showcase that in a different Power BI report. So let's quickly check on this uh, KPI cards with additional images embedded as a one of the possibilities, one, one of the possible adjustments. So here we can see like, of course, the title, subtitle, these are just placeholders. We have the colored values. We have then the image. Image is comes from the SVG calculation that we can also bring as an image uh, section. And we have this reference uh, label similar to what we have previously. So one thing that I wanted to share with you is that there is a one additional a property, one additional settings if we go here and to the cards, to the layout. You can see now that there is such option which is called order. And order allows you to change the order of these specific items which you have where you have the callout value the image and the reference so now is the callout then image then reference but for example you can change to callout reference and image in that case so the reference comes first and the image comes like in in the latest step in as a as a consecutive element on the bottom comparing to where revenues are placed so Without diving into SVG at this moment, I just wanted to mention that there is like the order tab where you can actually specify what should be the uh, what should be the order of these specific items within a card. It can be also useful to just keep that in mind. Of course, sometimes it doesn't make any sense to keep the reference labels on the top of the callout values. Nevertheless, you might have a lot of different structures and items bring to your KPI card. So in that case, it's worth to keep in mind that we have this. Uh, order available. So for our today, uh, the today video is everything uh, that I wanted to share with you. So if you like the content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and see you soon again. So take care, have a great day or night and bye.